A Los Angeles man is demanding answers tonight after he says his aunt's remains were lost in a Pocatello funeral home. CBS 2's Trevor Fay joins us live here in studio with the exclusive interview. Sean McDonald is at the end of his rope. He's dealt with everyone from the Downard Funeral Home to the Pocatello Police Department, and no one can give him a straight answer about the whereabouts of his aunt's remains. The police said that they were investigating and to please be patient and that there were the 12 unidentified bodies. It's none of those people are my aunt. This isn't the first time the Downard Funeral Home has been in the crosshairs. Earlier this month, the business made headlines following the discovery of decomposing bodies and fetuses in its facilities. In the aftermath, the funeral home's owner lost his licenses. My father spoke to Lance Peck, the owner of Downard Funeral Home, um, really briefly the very first day she was transferred over, and that was the end of it. We've not, not had any communication. In fact, Sean's family wasn't able to get a hold of anyone at the funeral home after that. The remains of 12 people were discovered and downered by police, six of which needed to be identified. Sean was eventually told his aunt's body was among that group, but the description police gave him didn't sound right. This woman did not have a tattoo on her shoulder or her ankle like my aunt. My aunt had long, dirty brown hair, brown hair, blondish brown hair. And this woman was also older, and it was, she wasn't the same height. I mean, there's no way that it's her. That body is the last one to be identified from the funeral home, according to police. And with the trail of evidence now cold, there isn't much for authorities to go on. The police said that they weren't going to be continuing investigating, looking for her, and that we shouldn't expect to hear from them again unless they have any new information. Sean and his family are still trying to arrange a funeral for his aunt, but with no new news on the whereabouts of her body, he tells me they're taking things day by day. In studio, Trevor Fay, CBS2 News.